The Roman penalty, the most disgraceful penalty the Romans could provide for a, a public a scoundrel or a, a pirate or a murderer or somebody who conspired against the state was crucifixion. Could never happen to a Roman citizen. Uh, Cicero described it as one of the, the worst punishments anybody could ever endure. It's not private, it's a public punishment. Don't do what this miscreant did or you're gonna be hung up like he is. The titulus, the, the explanation over the cross had the victim's name and also what he did. <laughs> so it's a big advertising, negative ad, don't do what he did. And this is why uh, the place of crucifixion was always on a public area, on a public road. Now in the process of crucifixion, <clears throat> we don't have a case of a uh, big crux emissa, which is the normal cross, uh, where Jesus is dragging all that wood. It would have been too heavy for him even if he were in perfect condition. Only the cross beam would be carried to vertical stakes of wood that are there permanently. Uh, because wood is kind of precious. They're not gonna waste it ever, nor are they gonna uh, nail a victim to the cross and then burn the cross or bury the cross with the victim. Not gonna happen. Uh, and so what they would do would usually have what are these patibulums are called, cross beams with a hole in the center and, uh, and then it was mortised over the stake which was tapered somewhat and there the victim already nailed to that cross beam would hang. Generally they would support uh, the body perhaps uh, at the rear or the, uh, certainly the, the feet. Sometimes one nail went in both heel bones or one nail in each, and then the arms on both sides. Or you might be fastened to the cross with rope of some kind. You don't need nails for that. A bulldozer was working northeast Jerusalem at a suburb called Givat HaMivtar in 1972 and scraped open the side of a cliff, which turned out to be the wall of a burial cavern and inside there were 35 ossuaries. This one was not beautifully ornamented, but the victim inside was Yochanan ben Hagakor. Of course, I made my flying lunch for Josephus to see if he mentions him. No, it's an unknown rebel against Rome that was crucified there. How do we know he was a rebel? Well, this fellow was crucified by nailing. Uh, they found a seven inch nail lodged in his heel bones. He was put on the cross sideways this way and one nail went in both heel bones and his arms out here. Holes in the distal end of his right radius bone where the nail went in. And then that seven inch nail was hammered into an olive wood cross and to hasten that they broke your legs because now you got nothing to hang on except this and you can't hang long if you don't have a place for your feet. You just asphyxiate. And so that's what they did to the malefactors on Good Friday and East Side of Jesus. And one of the proofs that Jesus truly died is the fact that indeed they didn't have to do that to Jesus, but just to make sure they didn't break his legs, the lance came along and pierced his ribcage and hit his heart. That's even more a proof that he died.